Yo, welcome Fronies. So the Boonstone Wars are just around the corner and I want to give you an addition to my very popular settings video on how to do the improvements specifically for guild versus guild combat. That means Boonstone and Riftstones and former GVG content that they are already announced. So we are going to go over it step by step in the order as the menu is giving it so you can follow along. And the first thing we want to make sure is that in our controls, we are having always use army toy recovery and PVP combat checked. And we have set that to 95%. That's the best army toy setting. So you can ensure that your recovery is already starting once you're getting the first hit. Then under character, where it says show character name, here you want to make sure that for hostile guild characters is turned on, you have relationship mark activated and you have the name turned on and the health. You can also see that in the city that you can already start learning people's names and classes to each other. So for the target settings, we are going for few players only. Important, this is the GVG setup. This is not how I usually run my targeting for that. How I usually do it, check out the general settings guide. And also for auto attacking, we are also having that. It really important is that this one here is checked off auto targets nearest enemy when attacking with auto target if you have that checked on you often attack tanks and now let me explain you why feud only is the way to go sorry to interrupt but short self-promotion is needed currently 91.2 percent of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel so let's make a deal if you learn something new in this video you have to subscribe so whenever you're having a Boonstone or a Riftstone fight, you will go and check for the guild that you are fighting. So in our case, I think last time that was Agami. They beat us in a queer fight. It was still fun and we learned a lot. And um, to prepare, we are actually scanning what they have to offer in the guild. And then depending on what your role is as a player in the guild, you can set feuds. So for me, for example, I'm a damage dealer and my job is to kill other damage dealers and to apply um, CC on healers. So what I'm going to be checking is what classes are they? Okay, that's a paladin. This is a great sword dagger. Here we are having a staff dagger and he is also an advisor. So I'm going to go and um, add him to a feud. I already have him feuded, but here it usually says add feud. And then if you are standing in a big clump during the fight, you can just press tab and you will have one of those people there. So next up, we want to also make sure to have all of the um, guild people that can actually capture something because that's limited to those um, tagged. So for here, for those, I add them to interest. Now you can see next to the name, you have that blue person showing up and this is the mark that I can see. So I know all of those are interest and it helps me with being able to focus them when they try to cap something. Then the next thing that we're going to be using is the block system. So here, for example, I found a healer and I will block that person. So when we are now going here to the astral vision, to the astral vision settings, you will choose only showing feuds and block people. So that means heal all the damage dealers and you can go and select the healers if you need them. And then you can always choose on this based on enemy's health. So where you're more likely to get a kill. Something is important, the astral vision range should match the range of your character, plus five meters, I would say. So my range is 14.19. So I am setting it to 19 meters range. And now you can see right here, the person that I feuded will show up and the person that I blocked will show up. And this is how I can select out of the bunch, what is the healer, what is the damage dealer. And in the fight, you can just click it to um, apply your target, as you can see right here. And this way I can prevent attacking tanks as a damage dealer. Another important setting we will find in the camera section right here, where we are able to change our screen positioning. I find minus 2.5 the best so far, because this will allow you to give more vision up front. You still have enough to see what's happening around your character. And all the GVG is usually also in some narrow places like choke points like that one. And if people are standing on top, it's really hard to target them if you are having the standard settings. If you have this, so your camera will get really close to target people. If you just go down, you can then select the people right here. It's way more comfortable that way. Another thing that you can use to get additional information about what is happening is actually the notifications. Here I choose sound one and the 10 second interval 
to know when someone is attacking me. This helps me especially if there's like a really messy fight, I'm more in the back line and maybe a stealth person slipped through my hand isn't attacking me. It's for me faster to react to the sound than to react to what I'm actually seeing in game because sometimes you just don't know where to look at. And the other one is um, I'm having a health notification set up with a sound too at 25%, which will not occur that often because usually um, like you only get down once not in like a while when you're getting like it jumped or attacked by a combo or you just die. But this helps me with pressing my um, health food, making sure that I am in the range of my healer. Like it's just a little notifier um, for me to check my positioning and making sure that I have everything pressed. And of course, when I, for example, get this na, a notification sound, just like a bot I will almost instantly press my defensive skills to have a higher chance of surviving. And now one last recommendation is for PvP. I would always recommend no matter what computer you have to set the game on high and then rather tune like individual things down if it's um, hurting your performance or it's giving you too low FPS. But I feel like the game is optimized on the high setting the best and no matter how good your PC is, I feel like it's running better on high. Yeah, if you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.